what is up guys it's big chicken back with another video so today i'm gonna be explaining the a320 autopilot in a, like a more simplified way than some of the other videos because i got really really confused on this and i had to learn by myself so let's hop into the a320 all right we've loaded in and we are at san francisco international or ksfo so first of all if you have your ifr planned or even if you don't this is what you need to do for wherever you're going this helps the plane know where you where you want to go and it can also help with the autopilot so it can do it automatically so you want to do is click the in it button so you'll see at the top in it from to and these orange yellowish boxes so you want to type in the code of what airport you're at so we're at ksfo k s f o oops it's two o's so if you want to click if you want to go backspace it's just clear and it deletes one so then you need to put a slash between the airport that you're at and the airport that you're going to so let's just go to around lake tahoe so k r n o so make sure that you have the country code at the beginning of it too or the country letter whatever it is and you just want to click the button up here so see it'll hold this and you'll click return so you don't have to do any of this this just has this pop up and the f the airplane will follow when you click engage autopilot so let's get up into the air and i'll show you guys so now we can put flaps to zero and as you can see the autopilot is not engaged obviously and we're an auto throttle isn't engaged so to engage auto throttle you want to pull back and as you can see it is in the you need to put it in the auto throttle pos position then auto throttle should be engaged so you want to push the up button for managed speed so that is pulling it out and that is showing that it is managed airspeed so if you want to turn on the autopilot for everything and it'll just follow that line so also if you pull up your VOR map, where'd it go? Okay, there's the line. It'll be following that line. So you wanna also put in your altitude that you need. So we're gonna put 15,000 and you wanna put down because we didn't actually put in a flight level in the computer. So it doesn't know how high we need to go. So now that I've showed you how to, how to do the managed, so pretty much the aircraft following the line, and this won't work unless you configure the computer so now how do you do a managed how do you do however you want it to go you don't so that you don't have to do the line well it's really easy all you have to do is turn your knob so see once you turn it it doesn't do anything what you have to do is either push this in or push down if you're in microsoft flight simulator engaged heading mode so see we start turning and you can see we're going towards the heading bug. We can also do that with the airspeed. So let's say we want to go to 260 knots, 270. We j it doesn't do anything yet, but you have to click down. The heading bug will pop up. And it should start going up. It does take a little bit. It's not instant, but it does do it after a certain amount of time. The same thing with the altitude. You can engage managed altitude and that that will use the computer it'll see what flight level you put in so see we're almost at 270 now and we're at our actual heading so you you won't need to push it down anymore once you have already done that so see i change it and we're already turning again Now another problem with auto throttle is there's a couple things that you need to make sure before you try to turn the auto throttle on and it doesn't work. So you gotta make sure that it is in the position from FLX to here, to idle. Has to be somewhere in there. Otherwise the auto throttle won't turn on. And you have to have the auto throttle button on. It has to be green you don't have to have autopilot on for auto throttle to work but you do have to have it in the special position and auto throttle on and some kind of speed engaged 
Another issue with your altitude that you might uh, see is your barometric pressure. Barometric pressure is right here. And what you need to do is you have to have it tuned to the correct correct barometric pressure for wherever you are. So the it's normally at 29 or 9 or 2. So yeah guys, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below if you have any suggestions for a video. If you need any help with the autopilot, comment down below. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.